Hey everyone, welcome back. Frank here with Frank's DIY. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be doing a tour review. We're going to be reviewing the Harbor Freight Central Machinery 5-Speed Benchtop Drill Press. Hey, I want to remind everybody, if you like these videos I make, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to ring that bell. Don't miss any of the videos I post. All right, let's get to it. Okay guys, so here is the Harbor Freight 8-inch 5-Speed Drill Press. As of the time of this video, you can get this for right at $90. If you look at the picture on the website, it'll tell you that this is a five speed, eight inch bench top drill press. All right, the speeds on this thing is between 760 and 3070 RPMs. Okay, let's talk about power ratings. This is 120 volts, 2.4 amps. Now it doesn't tell you how many horsepower that is, but using this picture here and Google, you can figure out that this is just a little over of a third of a horsepower motor. It's not the most powerful motor, but for a small drill press like this one, for hobbyists and enthusiasts, it should be fine. First thing we're going to do is talk about the footprint. How big of a footprint does this leave? All right, so the height from bottom to top. Can you see this? This is just a little over 22 and a half inches. All right. The width on this thing, it's a little over seven inches. Now that's not counting the light, but this is adjustable. Now depth, the depth you need for this is just over 17 and a half inches. Now, this thing has speeds from 760 to 3070 RPMs. The table tilt is 45 degrees left and right and the chuck is anywhere from 1 16th inch to a half inch. The spindle stroke is two inches. The max depth of cut you can have with this machine is just over four inches. Okay. Right around four and an eighth. The table The table is right at six inches by just over six and an eighth. It comes with a light. This will help you shine light on your workpiece. Okay, I, I feel like you could replace this with an LED bulb and it would be better because right now it's kind of orange and it's not that bright, but it's nice to have. All right, you can adjust the table by moving this locking lever right here. And that allows you to slide it up and down and left and right. The max depth you can get with this is almost eight inches. It's about seven and three quarter inches. But if you move the table out of the way, you can get more with this. You can get almost 10 and a quarter inches. All right. Okay, so the frame of this is mostly metal. It, it appears to be some sort of steel. And there is a little bit of plastic on it. There's plastic here. Of course, there's plastic on this light. And these, um, these arms here have plastic knobs on the ends. There's also this plastic knob here and a plastic under your motor. Other than that, it appears to be all metal, and the casing on top is some sort of pressed metal. Let's talk about the table for a little bit. This table does have a little bit of flexing to it. Can you see that? If you press on it too hard, it will flex a little bit. But in my experience, this hasn't been an issue. And you can always brace underneath of it if you need it to be more sturdy. Now, I do find from time to time I have to tighten these up. See these just screw in and out. From time to time, I do have to tighten these. But that's not, I don't feel like that's a big deal. Also, there's a sticker here. It tells you how deep you're cutting. Now, say if I only want to go down one inch, that'll be right there. What I could do is lock this nut down. 
Uh, I have those locked in place and I can't drill in deeper than that. This will lock me at exactly one inch. That way you can drill the exact same hole every time. Now, let's talk about the table. To change the angle of this table, you'll have to get that nut right there. You'll have to get that bolt right there and loosen it up. Then the table will swivel. You can put a tilt on it. Okay, there is a little sticker gauge here with a mark that tells you the angle, but I wouldn't rely on that as it's just a sticker. Also, here's a little helpful hint. I like to stick a magnet to it. That way I can keep all my tools with it. Here's my drill chuck key that it came with and the two Allen inches it came with. I'll also keep this little pry bar here to help me set the tension in the belt. Okay, let's talk about another tip. There's lots of different ways to square up your table to your chuck, to your drill bit. But what I found is the most easiest is just use an Allen key. All right, you put your Allen key in your chuck Okay, then what you want to do is raise your table up to your Allen key. And this will let you see how well your table is lined up. You can see it's the same all the way around. That means the table is perfectly square to the drill bit or the drill chuck. Let's talk about the belt. If you lift this casing up, you'll see it has step pulleys. And depending on your configuration, it will adjust how fast it goes. Now to do that, you have to unloosen this tension lock. All right, now you see the metal, now you see the motor. Now, you see that? That's how you set the tension in the belt. So what you wanna do to set your belt is you grab this like this and you pull this back. That releases tension in the belt. Then you can roll it up on here like this, put it wherever you want it. All right, do the same on this side, just roll it up. like that. Now, when you're ready to set this back, I like to take this little pry bar and stick it right in here and put a little bit of tension on it. You don't want too much tension. Then you can lock your nut back. There. You see that? That's a tight belt, but it's not too tight. Okay, I wanna mention that the table has these grooves cut in it. That way you can fix things in here like vices and clamps to help you secure your workpiece. Also, there's holes here so you can bolt it down to your work table. All right, now that I've given an overview of the drill press, let's talk about the pros and cons. The pros, what do I like most about this drill press machine? Well, for one, it's cheap, it's only $90. I like that it's small. I like that it doesn't take up a big footprint. I like that it's not complicated and it's easy to use. I like that it has a light and I like that it has a, a depth stop. I like the that the table can rotate around the column and I like it that it can tilt. Now let's talk about the cons. What I, what I don't like about it is where the table flexes a little bit. This can be solved by putting something under it to keep that from happening. This is a little bit difficult to adjust. You have to get underneath of it and use a wrench or a socket to adjust the table tilt. It's not that big of a deal and I don't have to do it often. Also, I think as a con is although it has a depth stop, it's time consuming to get it set right. You have to sit here and twist every little thing down. I really don't have any more cons for this. 
just the flex in the table, which isn't that big of a deal in my experience, and the time it takes to adjust these nuts. I think the pros outweigh the cons a lot. Okay, guys, so here's my final thoughts on the drill press. I think it's a great drill press. I don't think it's intended for anything heavy duty or if you have a need for extremely high accuracy, but for a hobbyist and an enthusiast, I think this is a great drill press. It's cheap, it's affordable, it's small, it doesn't take up a lot of space so you can fit it in a small workshop. I've had this for about five months now and I use it often and I'm very happy with it. I would recommend this to anyone with the exception of anyone that needs a heavy duty drill press or an extremely high degree of accuracy. All right guys, that about wraps it up. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hey, if you like these videos or if I've helped you, help me. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to ring that bell so you don't miss any of the videos I post. Hey, don't forget to leave any comments below. Comments are always welcome. Suggestions are always welcome. If there's anything you think I should have done differently, let me know. If you think you could have done it better, let me know. Till next time, be careful and stay safe. See ya.